In the 2016 presidential race, it's being said with some regularity that the next president will appoint one or more people to the Supreme Court. And technically, that is correct, but it's misunderstood. People think, or some people think, that that means that the president is empowered to decide who will and who will not uh, go on the court. That is false. The decision as to who will or will not be uh, placed on the Supreme Court is made by a committee of 101 people. The president is one of those people. The 100 members of the United States Senate uh, constitute the rest of the committee. And here's how it works. The president does have the power to prevent someone's being on the court because the president is empowered to make the formal nomination for consideration of a candidate. Uh, members of the Senate can uh, informally nominate someone by simply suggesting them to the president. Members of the Senate might say, well, uh, President, we think that uh, Juanita Smith would make a good Supreme Court justice. The president could say, well, I'll formally nominate her, her, or the president might say, no, I'm not going to formally nominate her. So in that sense, the president has control uh, as to who will not be allowed to be on the court. Uh, once someone is nominated, formally nominated by the president, it's then up to the Senate to decide whether or not they'll be placed on the court. Uh, the president doesn't even have a vote in that. The 100 members of the Senate make that decision by vote. If the Senate decides to place that person on the court, then uh, the president signs the formal appointment paperwork. That is uh, what's meant by the Constitution when it says that the president is empowered to appoint someone. It does not mean that the president decides who is going to go on the court. Did I explain that adequately well? Uh, anyway, so that's a, a misconception. The president does not have the power to put anybody on the Supreme Court. The president can prevent someone's going on the court, but the president cannot place someone on the court. Uh, that's up to the United States Senate. <laughs> okay, little civics lesson this uh, real nice morning here in Bellbuckle, Tennessee.